Welcome back. In the previous segment, we discussed namespaces and the using directive. In this segment, we are going to talk about how we can use C++ without simple CPP and we will also conclude this entire lecture sequence. Okay, so, how do you use C++ without simple CPP? So, if you want to use it without simple CPP, first of all you will not be able to do graphics, okay, but that is not all. When you write hash includes simple CPP, that itself includes the following lines for you. So, it includes a line called line which goes hash include IO stream okay, and also a line which goes hash include CMAP and it also includes this line using namespace STD. These lines are useful. The names C in, C out and NDEL all related to input output are defined in the namespace STD and this definition happens in the standard header file IO stream. So, therefore, you need to include IO stream so that you get these names and if you want to use them directly without having to write std colon colon c in, you also need to have this line using namespace std. Okay, so, if you do not include CPP, if you do not have this line, then you should have all these lines and you should have the line CMath because if you want to use functions like square root and all of that, okay, yeah, square root sign apps, whatever. Okay, so, let me give a very simple example of how you can use C++ without simple CPP. So, you might say hash includes IO stream using namespace std, int main, int n, c in n, so read n and say print out uh, its cube. So, this could be a really simple program which you could write without having to, in, uh, having to use the simple CPP features. Okay? But because simple CPP was including these things and because uh, you need to use C in and end L, you need to have these lines. Okay, here is another way of writing the same thing. So, you could write IO stream int main, okay, int n and now because you did not write namespace std, okay, you, you will have to write std col using namespace std, you would have to write std C in and not just C in. And likewise, std colon c out and even std colon end l. Okay, so, that is basically uh, how you are going to use C++ without simple CPP. And of course, had you uh, needed to use any math functions, you would also have to include IOC, uh, hash include c math. Okay? So, just to make sure, just to persuade you that this works, I am going to show you uh, both of these programs and run them. Okay, so, this is the first program that we saw where you are, uh, you are using, you are not including simple CPP, but you are including IO stream and you are using the namespace std and you are putting uh, and you are writing the program. Okay? So, let us compile it. We can compile it with S++ still, but we can also compile it with uh, the, the, the basic C++ compiler and that is called G++ on Unix. So, I can compile without simple CPP. Okay? So, it has done its job. So, it's ex it expects me to type in a number. So, let us say I type n 9 and indeed it is printing out the cube of 9 which is 729. Okay? Let me show you the other program without simple CPP2 it is called and here I have not put in the line using uh, namespace std, but instead I have included 
the prefix std colon colon before where before uh, all the names which are belonging to that namespace std okay so again let me compile that so uh, s plus plus okay so i could compile it with s plus plus as well um, but i could compile it with g plus plus let let's use g plus plus again because that's what you would do if you are not using simple cpp so without simple cpp2 dot cpp so it's compiled dot slash a dot out again it's expecting me to give a number so let's say i type 7 and yes the cube is 343 so that's done okay so um, uh, so yeah so if you wish you can run uh, your programs without using simple cpp but then you would have to type these lines and if you are feeling tired about typing these lines you can continue to use s++ no uh, the, it will work anyway all right so that com that concludes the uh, part about how to use uh, c++ without simple cpp and specifically what include files you need to use now i want to conclude this entire uh, lecture sequence uh, on how to write large programs so the first point that we made are functions are building blocks of programs so just as when you write a book you typically break it into chapters if you are designing a device you break it up into subsystems systems and subsystems similarly when you are writing a program you kind of break it up break it down into functions okay there will be other things that will also come up but we will talk about those later okay functions can be put into many files provided each file contains a declaration before the use of the function okay declarations can go into header files it is convenient if you put declarations into header files and when you put declarations into header files okay, um, there are some additional details which you might want to learn if you use really if you if you yourself try to write really large programs some of these details are discussed in the book names can be put into namespaces and you do have some namespaces which are defined as a matter of uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a standard by default in c++ and the namespace std is one of those namespaces okay so different programmers can put their work in different namespaces and the same name may be defined in many namespaces okay so in fact this says that you could have a variable called c in 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 your program i would recommend i would recommend uh, that you do not do that because you will conf uh, confuse yourself but in principle you could do it because the c in that you are using so far is a name defined in uh, the namespace std so if you carefully want to differentiate it and put c in in your own namespace that is possible but again as i said not recommended the details of all this are discussed in the book okay and that concludes this lecture sequence thank you